Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Bjorn, and today I want to talk about helm upgrades. Which ones are useful, what order did I do them in, however this is just going to be a brief explanation. I'm not going to go too in depth because I honestly can't remember uh, fully why I did it in the order that I did. However I'm going to try explain in what makes the most sense possible. Now in terms of season 2 when everything gets reset i will do an in-depth of why i'm doing them in that order and hopefully that helps some of you guys out so if we look at the desk here and as you can see we have most of everything we're missing we are missing about five manufacturers seasonal reset all manufacturers you take over during a season will be lost at the end of the season which means we will not have all of these manufacturers we'll have to go around and collect them again which I don't, it, it doesn't bother me i know a lot of people are quite annoyed with it but honestly it doesn't bother me we've got 400,000 pieces of eight again if that gets reset it honestly doesn't bother me at all because there's nothing to do with them right now and they are kind of just wasted at least if they get reset it gives me something to do so let's look at upgrades here so as you can see we've got smuggler operations we've got smuggler skills Red Isle Connections, cost, uh, Coast of Africa Connections, East Indies Connections, and Empire Management. So, if you're aiming for silver, this is a big one to do, Smuggler Operations. And I'm going to explain why. So, if we look at all the pages here, I don't actually know how expensive it is to do all 24 pages or all 24 there or 22 there i can't remember but again for season two i will definitely make a note and we'll figure it out so as you can see the smuggle operations the ones that i wanted because i don't care I, di I didn't really care about any of these apart from if we have a look here it says Unlocks production of gold skull rum from white skull rum. I wanted that. Why did I want that? Because you can sell gold skull rum to Sherlock. And again, we're going to keep going up here. Um, this one adds a 20% chance to produce an additional item when refining contraband. Which means when you put the sugarcane, for example, in the distillery. If you put 900 sugarcane in the distillery... And instead of getting 900 of the white skull rum, you potentially might get more because of the double craft that you've got selected in the pages here. So you've got the increase the amount of eights offered in orders by 25%. Don't really care about that. I don't do the orders personally because I prefer to just go around farming the materials crafting them and keeping the silver for myself and i don't want to be bombarded with rogue ships because it's just annoying it gets really tedious after a while but here we go we've got unlocks the production of black lotus opium of the refinement of blue lotus that is in the laboratory which is in telok so the telok side of the office you'll get the laboratory which does opium and in the what's it called saint anne place you will get a uh, gold skull rum basically crafting but as you can see we want gold skull rum from white skull rum and that's why we got this because it is essentially a massive massive silver farm you can get so much silver and as you can see here unlocks the production of black snuff from the refinement of tobacco leaves unlocks the production of silver snuff from the refinement of black snuff so all of the materials that are offered in the helm supply network are all being used essentially for silver gain which is why i unlock that one if we look here so this one is actually really useful let's say you go to the silver network and you um silver supply network and you go into a roving quest and you go and sink that ship well, if you sink the ship, you actually get a helm death mark. However, with this, uh, with these pages, it reduces the duration of the helm's death mark by 50%. Also, if you look at the hostile takeovers, this makes the hostile takeovers a bit quicker uh, by 40% if you're sinking enemies. And also, the, the rogue hunt opportunities... 
they'll be ca carrying 50% more. I don't do the rogue hunt opportunities because they're always in a storm, which is somewhat annoying to me. And then, as you can see, increases the amount of hell materials available for taking when plundering forts. I always plunder forts, so this one was a big one for me. Again, you can find the uh, fort plunders in the supply network under attacks. And we've got the legendary highest, which is something I do a lot. But this one here unlocks access to higher value contracts offered by the helm. So, let me show you what this means. If we look at the supply network here, all these contracts, they are all contracts. Now, the roving gets upgraded with that particular page. And instead of getting... I think you start off with 72, so you get 72 sugarcane, 72 poppy, 72 poppy, and 72 tobacco leaves. If you upgrade all them pages, you will get 144, 144, 144, 144, and also uh, the amount of materials from Fort Plunders using them pages will also be upgraded, and I have to accept some of these, so I'll accept them soon. But basically, the first and the second pages are really, really useful. Now, in terms of, I think, pieces of eight. So we've got Red Isle Connections. I only started upgrading this page when I had all of the Red Isle Connections um, manufacturers. So when I had all these, that's when I started upgrading Red Isle Connections uh, pages. For, and the Coast of Africa Connections, I only started upgrading them pages when I got all of these, or at least a majority of these. Same again with the East Indies. I only upgraded them pages when I had the majority of these. I think upgrading these pages is kind of a waste of pieces of eight until you've got a certain amount of these manufacturers. So I wouldn't waste your pieces of eight until you've decided whether you are going to go to the East Indies or the coast of Africa, or whether you're just going to stick with Red Isle. It's fully up to you. Red Isle gives more than enough in terms of pieces of eight. So, the last page. This used to be, before uh, update 1.3, this used to be an amazing page, because if you can see, it increases the profit bonus for established trade routes by 50%. Now, if we have a look, it's only like 7%. For example, Harufu, uh, Harufu sorry, used to be 527 per hour. Now it's 156, which isn't ideal. 156 just... Granted, all of them are filling up kind of at the same time rather than having Harufu fill up and then you just go collect that and then you just there's nothing else for you to collect because the others are only halfway full however that page has become somewhat less useful than what it would be however if we look at the other pages maybe there is something in there but i only got it just for that established trade route and let me explain what the established trade route is so as you can see harufu it's got so many trade routes Coming from it, you have to get all of the locations. So that one's going there, and then you've got one going there, then you've got one going there, and all of them are leading to Harufu. So you've got to collect whichever manufacturer this trade route is going to in order to bump up Harufu as much as you can. So you've got to accept all the trade route locations to and from in order to get the bonus anyway. But again, 50% is what it used to be. Now, again, we're going to wait for Season 2 to see how it has changed. Because I can't, I don't know what it is without these pages now. So it reduces the production cost for all controlled territories. So that means you are pumping less and less silver into the manufactories when you are actually funding them. I believe that's what it means. Um, maybe it has something to do with the supply run, but I'm not sure. If you're doing the supply run, then you're just wasting materials. Please don't do the supply run. As you can see, it says deliver tobacco leaves 173. It's a waste of tobacco leaves, and there's just no point in it. So I would avoid doing that. Unless you are a leaderboard grinder, then obviously you want to do it to get as many pieces of eight as you can. So, in my opinion... I mean, even with all these pages, I'm still pumping about 40k to 60k 
in the uh, in the manufactories, which is why I'm so low on silver. But I've got so I've got so many gold materials to sell. It doesn't bother me. Increases the duration of future supply runs. So supply runs again. Don't do supply runs. That's my opinion. But in terms of this these pages here the only thing that used to be worthwhile is this final one which is increase the profit for established trade routes i can't say if it's worth it now let me know if you've got this page fully upgraded or if you can tell me what your harufu is currently funding without these pages because i'll be really interested to know just how low Harufu goes without these pages. However, instead of 50%, it is only giving 7%. So, all in all, we have a look. All in all, these two are silver because they increase hell materials. They make, they make it so you can turn your hell materials into more lucrative goods and you can sell the white skull rum uh, gold skull rum gold skull gin into sherlock and you can trade the silver snuff and the black opium over to rama and you can make a bunch of silver so you definitely want all these pages if you're looking for silver if you need to see a silver farm tutorial i'll put the link in the description below this one is to increase the amount of how materials that is basically offered on the supply network like the rovings the full plunders whatever you want and it also reduces the death mark duration these are basically only for if you've got the majority i wouldn't use them unless you have the majority of you know the red isle manufactories the coast of africa manufactories and the east indies and east indies manufactories um i will wait until i get the majority in season two and before I start upgrading them and this one is somewhat less useful I hope they add some changes to this because they need to make these pages a bit more useful now that they've basically nerfed it or they fixed it maybe it was a bug but they nerfed it definitely so these pages again I'd have to see the hourly rate in season 2 without these pages to see if they're worth upgrading but let me know your thoughts down below. I hope this video helped you out. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more Skull and Bones content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.